tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you give for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. You see, what would you spend today thinking about? Endure most of it. Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'd give everything in your heart for. We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave. Leave your legacy. And it's found you effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, that think what they see on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. Ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do. Yeah. Tonight, Sir. we ain't got to worry about taking no break. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes. The biggest battle of our professional lives all comes down to today. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us. Or, we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now, I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now, I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're going to see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. Hell yeah. right. That's the team, gentlemen. Hell yeah. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. And so, at the end of the day, it is what it is as far as the sanctions are. We gotta move forward. We got a job to do. We're all getting paid as coaches. We gotta get going. And we gotta keep this team together. And again, like I told him this morning is, 
you know, at night, at the end of the day, I, a lot of guys come in and see me. A lot of the players, they, they stop by the office and see me the last couple of days. And it always solidifies in my mind why I came here, that these guys are the reason that I'm here and that our staff is here. And uh, we, we want them to stick together. And we want them to continue being the leaders and the type of kids that they are. Okay. Stand together. We've got some of the best coaches in the country right here at Penn State, and obviously the one team approach stands with our football team right now back in State College. They're they're one team. They're sticking together, and uh, and I'm proud to be their head coach.